Hello everybody, uh, I'm here at the Campaign for Liberty office here in Alexandria and I have some important announcements to make today. But before I get into that, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the significance about the Rally for the Republic that we're holding uh, in September. The big event, of course, is on September 2nd. You know, I've been in politics for probably 35 years now and over all those years I've had a lot of elections for Congress but there was one election that was the most significant even though nobody would remember it. It happened to be a special election in, 19, in, in 1976. There were six of us in the race and I came in second but I came in second with 13,000 votes. But because of that, I got into the runoff and won the special election. If I had not gotten those 13,000 votes, just think, 13,000 votes over 550,000 constituents at that time. And yet it got me into the runoff and I won that race. And if I had not, I would not have had a political career. I, I really believe that. Uh, so there's a little bit of luck in politics, but it also took hard work. We had to raise money. We had to have precinct organization. And did, we did what was necessary to win that election, and I went to Congress. I even had another significant election in 1996, uh, going back to Congress after having been out, and the establishment was absolutely opposed to me then. But I still don't think it was as significant as that early race, that special election in 1976. But today, we're planning on a special event, and I consider it as equal to, if not more important, than anything I've done over these years. Now, you say, how can that be? You've been in Congress, you've had this campaign that was uh, uh, quite successful here in the last year. Why would this event be so important? Well, it's important to me personally, to tell you the truth, because it's a measurement of what I have been doing, not only in the past year and a half, but we, what we have done as a group, what we have done with all the supporters uh, in rallying so many people in this country. And to me, the, the rally for the Republic is a measurement of that success. So if we plan a rally, invest a lot of money, which we have, more than I ever dreamed I would be involved in, if we, if we don't have a large crowd, believe me, that will be the news. And we've had a significant number. We have half the number of people already signed up, and we have another month or so, so I, I believe we're going to get our crowd there. But we still have a lot of work to do. But we are following one of the fundamental rules that I established early in the campaign because I've worked on, on, uh, with this uh, approach uh, all my life, is I never know what tomorrow will bring. I don't know when we're going to be successful or when there's going to be failures or when we're going to have a crisis or when another war breaks out. But in the meantime, the most important thing we do is have a little fun in what we're doing and enjoy the association with like-minded people. So we're fulfilling that requirement. We are going to have a lot of fun uh, in September. Not only entertainment fun, but fun philosophically because we are challenging the status quo. We'll have people coming from the left and the right and the middle, conservatives and libertarians and constitutionalists and Republicans and Democrats. We're coming together to make the point that freedom does bring people together. But today I'd like to make some special announcement uh, to build the enthusiasm and the anticipation of what we're going to have. We've, we've had uh, two, two individuals, and they happen to be from Minnesota, which makes uh, transportation a little bit easier for them, but uh, the musician Rocky Lynn is going to be there, and he's going to be a big draw. We're going to have a lot of people come just to hear Rocky Lynn, and then they're going to hear our message as well. And also, uh, we're going to have somebody else coming, and he's not a Republican, and he's not a Democrat. He's independent-minded, but he also wrote a book recently with the title, Don't Start the Revolution Without Me, and that's Jesse Ventura. And uh, he's going to be a, a good draw because, uh, you know, he's been governor of, of Minnesota, and he's anxious to come, and he supports our view, and he's against this war, and he's for civil liberties. So that is going to help us, and uh, we, of course, are anxious to get the people in Minneapolis and also all throughout the surrounding region to come because their travel expenses would be uh, so, so much less. 
So we're going to keep working and putting this together, but believe me, whatever we, you can do to stimulate the interest so that we do not disappoint because uh, so many have made projections that, uh, quite frankly, we have a real challenge to, to meet. But I want to thank everybody for the past support, for the enthusiasm that we have here, and this is very serious business, very, very important, has great historic significance, but at the same time, when we're in Minneapolis, we're going to have some fun. Thank you.